Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into the bread and butter of today's short video, huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are phenomenal. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Also, doing a PvP Top 5. If you guys want to know how to enter that, there will be a link in the description. And also, a card in the top right hand corner if you are unsure how. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. So, face Dagon's ruthless allies in the Deadlands Prologue. Now live. So, in Gates of Oblivion, apparently you can go ahead and grab this quest. It's very similar to uh, Oblivion back in the day when it first came out on like the 360 or whatever. So, if you guys I haven't done these before, you find the portals, you go into the portals, you kill the boss, you uh, break the sigil stone, and you close the portal and you get loot. So, there is a, a event going on in Blackwood right now, which I'll be going over uh just a moment but let's go ahead and get through the the prologue first so the deadlands prologue quest line is now live and available for anyone who has the elder scrolls online with no previous dlc or chapter purchase required to get started grab the free quest title an apocalyptic situation from the in-game crown store that's very nice that they're emphasizing free because uh really nothing in this game is free oh look at that crown store is on the uh the right hand side here Mmm, product placement. Delicious. <laughs> and look, the sense of urgency. Oh, only 12 days left, guys. Chop, chop. Hey, stop. Okay. Uh, in the Deadlands Prologue, the mysterious Dramora Lyranth, I don't know how this bitch is not dead, once again summons you to investigate a new scheme from the Order of the Waking Flame. During the two prologue quests, you'll uncover Mayrin's Dagon's latest plans for Tamriel, encounter fearsome new foes, and explore all new worlds. In two quests, a... The events of the Deadlands prologue lead directly into the upcoming Deadlands DLC storyline and are an important part of the ongoing Gates of Oblivion year-long storyline. Don't forget, it's free. You already own ESO. Thank you guys for reminding me. If you complete both prologue quests, you'll unlock the Grave Elegance Mask, a unique face covering that we're told in some is all the rage among the uh, Far Grave social elite. Uh, looks like some... Uh, ERP stuff, but uh, yeah, I guess it's okay. Assuming you can change the color. If you can't change the color, then yeah, not so much. You gotta change it to black, you know. Uh, the Gates of Oblivion. Are you ready to take the fight to the Prince of Darkness in his own realm? Let us know. Okay, so this will continue on their social medias here, on their website. And yeah, so we'll probably be playing around with the, uh, the quest line today, but I do want to go ahead and reiterates on the unlocked tiers and bounties for the blackwood event it should now be live it's the 30th yes so we'll kind of go over this as well just so you have all your information in one place if you guys are unfamiliar with the blackwoods thing is uh, you go to blackwood you literally do anything you earn progress on this progress bar which is a community wide and then at 100 percent you get uh what well, there, there's different tiers but uh 100 you're essentially going to get an orgrim target dummy uh, which is cool. Uh, that's, that's actually like like 20 bucks or something. So that's kind of cool. So we're going to go through this as well. Just to cover all of our bases. Explore Blackwood Unlock Rewards. The bounties of Blackwood in the game events. Kicks off Thursday, September 30th. Which is today. And uh, goes on for a couple weeks. So, uh, so there's a Pathfinder achievement. In order to get this achievement. To do so, simply visit the six unique striking... Uh, six unique striking locales in the zone and every day we'll update the meter found on the bounties of blackwood page so they have a uh okay it's already 22 percent complete cool okay so there's a jelly pet we get a uh, some markings and this guy's pretty cool as a target dummy <laughs> he's cute uh where we at should ch chat youtube viewers guys oh uh, once the meter reaches 100% on the events, uh, we'll add unlock rewards to the crown store in a single bundle. All Blackwood owners to claim. These rewards can include, uh, we saw Swamp Jelly Pet, the markings I didn't take a too close look at. Okay, it's this picture right here. And then the Cascading Bounty Box at 100% with a chance to include items such as the Indana Plunder, Rare Materials, or Item Sets. And guaranteed to include a tunable crafting stations and a unique Orgrim target dummy. This thing's going to be pretty cool. Uh, an incredible mystery prize will be revealed during the Gifts of Oblivion year in stream, which, by the way, guys, is tomorrow, and I will be streaming it uh, the entire time. At, uh, it's at 1 p.m. PDT or 4 p.m. EDT. I think I am 4 p.m. EDT, so I will be on top of that. 
so feel free join the stream come by interact we'll we'll make a good old time out of it it'll be fun uh should probably go back there we go um again they'll update the uh the bounty meter yada yada let's kind of look at these one more time kind of zoom in here uh it doesn't i'm zooming in but zooming out chat okay well so you can't really zoom in any more than this the orgrim's pretty cool the face markings all right i really like this little scrib jelly guy it's kind of cute looking uh, i get scream back there we go zoom in a little bit more in addition to community challenge, you can also earn bonus rewards during the event while adventuring in Blackwood Zone. To get started, pick up the bounties. A Blackwood introductory quest from the in-game crown star, uh, in-game crown store, or in-person REO tent. So, it, it, it's like any other event, right guys? So, the Blackwood Legates coffers during the event period. The first time you complete a daily quest in Blackwood or the Rock Grove quest a trial weekly quest instead you receive a glorious blackwood legates coffer this reward box has a chance to obtain some of the following items so crafting materials stuff you can sell to merchants blackwood items uh, treasure maps motifs fragments for the vorpal plasm pets which this thing is really cool um, it has a picture on down here in a little bit blackwood themed furnishings and uh, recipes if you have uh, and uh, also companion gear so if you continue to complete daily quests after the first, you can earn a regular Blackwood Legates Coffers, which has a lower chance to contain the rare rewards. You can also find the, the regular Blackwood Legates Coffers in the following ways. As drops in Delves and World Bosses, earned when completing Oblivion Portals. As drops from Blackwood Monsters, found in Treasure Chests, Safe Boxes, Thieves Trolls, Sigic Portals, and other containers. Found when Harvesting Nodes. So pretty much anything in Blackwood that you can feasibly do, you can possibly get these as well. Um, additional rewards. In addition to the above, all Blackwood daily quests and the weekly Rock Road trial quests have their regular reward boxes doubled. Alright guys, I've never ran trials, but I may run some trials to get these OP assets, so I suggest you guys do the same. Harvest Nose yields are increased, the world and public dungeons, trials and dead bosses drop additional rewards as well. That's a ton of great reasons to quest and explore and battle in Blackwood, I agree. Uh, this is for the Impersonario event. Um, don't forget the event time. Okay, it resets. Yeah, yeah, it's just like any other event. Uh, here's what the uh, the dude has the offer. Unstable monolith base fragments, including the Deadlands Flint, Rune Etched Striker, and Smoldering Bloodgrass Tinder. All three fragments for the Dagonic Quagsire, or Quagmire Griff, Qu 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 Quaza Griff. Okay, so it's Quagmire and a Griffin put together. Cool. Uh, the Smoked Wreath... Griffin Feather, Black Iron Bit, Birdle, Bridle, fuck in the new Black Iron. Okay, okay, cool. So this is the pet that you get. This thing is really cool, actually. It's a Griffin and a wolf put together, right? A little wolf ears, or is that cat? This might be a big cat. Yeah, it's got cat ears. Those aren't dog ears. Too thin. Uh, Pathfinders Unite. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I hate to abruptly up there, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So go to Blackwood, complete uh, this progress meter thing here, and then eventually when we get to 100, uh, the end of the story is that we will get a mystery box and also this Orgrim target dummy, which is amazing for any of your houses, if, especially you target dummy humping, parsing PVE fellas. <laughs> um, and when it comes to like any more recent news than that, I, I checked the forums and that there, there really wasn't anything new going on either. So this is it, guys. So get out there, start grinding a little bit. Take it easy this weekend. Even now, I'm going to take a hiatus from PvP. My dog in the background is annoying the shit out of me. And hop into Blackwood and just kind of explore and just have a good time. Again, guys, we will be doing the live stream of the live stream tomorrow. So be around for that and we can sit and chat and have a good time about it. We'll talk about all the things they talk about, give them shit, maybe praise them, who knows. So uh, this has been Horcrux. And again, guys, if you missed the end of the video, I appreciate each and every single one of you that is giving me a better click-through rate, a higher viewer retention. The YouTube algorithm loves it. Thank you all so much. Y'all have a great day. Peace.